Friends, buddies, pals, how you doing? Welcome back to another video. So we're not quite on the river yet. We're just getting some gas. I say we. Me and Dean are gonna go and do something very cool for the next couple of days. We're gonna jump on a boat, we're gonna go to a very cool river and hopefully try and catch some fish. We've got a couple of things to do first. We're gonna go and clean our gear. I'll explain that in a little bit. Um, but then we're gonna jump in the truck, go for a drive, get on a boat, go for a ride, go fishing. Right, right, the re soaked our boots and our wading socks, and our nets, and our reels. What we did, but they just did it in their own solution. That's the proper stuff. Yeah. Which is cool, we're going to fill out some forms. So we've got rod, reel, flies, and lures. No, there's no, no weak flies. So. And we're pretty much good to go. Good times. Okay, boat gone. We're on the track. We got it how long? Hour and a half? Yep, maybe. Hour and a half, Two maybe. Half uh, we're gonna stop for a bite to eat in a minute, so. And we've got we no rush to get up there, so. And then we'll cross the river, find a campsite, set up for the night, and then just pretty much chill out for the rest of the day because we can't fish until tomorrow because of the ballot system that's on this river. So we've got tomorrow and the next day to fish, and today we're just gonna hang out, build a camp, Probably drink all the whiskey. <laughs> yeah, <why not? laughs> Don't go fishing tomorrow. Don't go fishing tomorrow. <laughs> Have a hangover, stay in the tent. Look at that for a backdrop. I'm pretty excited about making a camp here. This is, this is great. So I'm gonna put my tent up here, Dean's over there, and then um, we're just cruising. Like I said, we can't fish today, so really it's just about making a pretty cool campsite.
Okay guys, so we've got camp water in the hydro pack bladder. We've got our bin in the, uh, I think it's called the leave it better than you found it or better than you found it, something like that. It's a rubbish bag from Scientific Anglers. Just fashioned a rather spiffing clothesline. What's over here with some stinky things on it. Pretty stinky stuff on there. Fiend's house, fireplace and kitchen over there. My house. And then some other stuff. Get away from my house. Just wanted to show you guys this. So this is a this is a new tent for me. Uh, this is the one man um should know. This is the one man tent from Bushbuck. It's the Solo 8000. So I haven't tried this one before. So it's the first time I've used this one. Let me give you a quick look at it. So I haven't tried the front entry tent before. All my other tents so far have been side entry. So I'm not too sure whether I like this or prefer this yet. So we'll find out. I'll let you know for sure. Uh, I do like the height of it. Looks like you'd be able to sit up in it really quite well. I like this little feature at the back. You've got this little kind of arm here which pops out this vent so hopefully that will help with condensation but that's about camp pretty much uh, all good all sorted i'm just going to sit down probably make a cup of coffee maybe put some whiskey in it and drink that That's us for the day. I'm gonna stop filming now. I'm gonna put the camera away. I'm gonna charge my batteries for tomorrow and I'm gonna drink a whiskey. I'm pretty excited about waking up to that to be fair. And then hopefully going and finding some fish and exploring this amazing looking river. I mean, hopefully we can find just a couple of fish and I'll be stoked. So we're gonna get up early and we're gonna to give tomorrow a really good nudge and put a, a pretty big day in because the following day we have to kind of fish our way back down to the boat, which isn't ideal, but it's all good. We'll make it work and just pretty excited to have a, have a poke around anyway. So catch you guys in the morning. Morning everybody, how's it going? A fairly okay night's sleep, I guess. As you can see behind us, pretty much good to go for the day. I'm just gonna put my boots on. Sandflies are turning up. Um, and then we'll get cracking. Basically the reason we want to get going so early is we actually want to push upstream a little bit and just get beyond the kind of gorgy bit before we slow down and fish the water further upstream. Uh, we'll put in a fairly decent day today and um, see what we can find. That's about the brief for the day, so we'll get going, eh? Okay, we found a fish, so we're going to put it together and see if we can catch him. Kind of talking a bit quiet so we can potentially see some more deer. So we're going to run the Helios 3 5-way F, Mirage LT, size 2 reel, Scientific Anglers, Infinity Smooth, 5-way line, the usual 7-foot floating body leader down to a tippet ring. I'll build a leader off of that. Seven feet of three X. I'm gonna add some four X to this. Okay, I'm gonna blood knot those two together. Leave a long tag end. Tag end's in a hip back. In case I need to add split shot to that later. Okay, we've got a little parachute jobby, size 12. Put some four X off of that, about three feet, and then something small and brown. See what happens. 
So 16 York, close to bar, good to go. South Island Rainbows. Now, that guy took the dry. I did not expect that at all. Cool looking rainbow, real prehistoric kind of looking jaw in a place like that. Good times. Um, <clears throat> so we've broken the rods down, we're just going to uh, jump in here, bush bash our way around a little tight bit and then uh, hopefully get back in the river and find some more of the good stuff. I like it. So this looks like where it starts to come out of that tight bit and open up again. So we're going to tackle up here. I've already seen a fish down there where Dean is. Let's see if we can get him on the board. Same rig I told you about earlier this morning. And uh, slow down and start fishing.
Yeah. Okay, sweet. I can't see that guy, but I do have. Oh, there's two fish. Yeah. I think it might be him. Yeah. Got him. There's three fish in there. Scrappy, scrappy rainbows. Oh, just, just wrecked the rest of the pool. There was no hesitation on that. He just monstered it. Wow, what a place to be uh, catching a fish, man. That backdrop is something else. Dude. Ah, these guys are got some scrap in them. It's just not a big fish, but my god, they're strong. Big shoulders like your last yeah, yeah. one. Yeah. Nice. You're That's silvery. You when you get your head up. You're pretty you've close. Got a, you've got a snag. There we go. Look at that big kipe on him. Ooh, next time. <laughs> Rainbows, eh? Nice, man. Pretty, pretty fish. Nothing wrong with him, eh? Just that, look at that cool jaw. spot to have some lunch we're gonna sit here and eat and then we're gonna watch this stable pool here and see if we can see anything cruising around it's got the fish in there so it's a good good excuse to sit down eat some food and then just sit and watch see if anything's doing a beat that kind of stuff what a place got that Perfect timing. <laughs> you got over it. Barney from The Simpsons, man. <laughs> I'm just going to get over this. <laughs> now let me get some composure. So we just had some lunch. We've seen a, a fish cruising in here. And he actually ate off the top too. So, um... We might be trying a dropper on, eh? Give it a nudge, eh? We kind of think we've worked out his beat. So we'll uh, get ready. Then get in position and we'll wait it out. See what happens. Tough bit of water to catch fish in though. Looks real cool.
Okay, definitely fish of the day. It was an awesome fish. I wasn't recording when he hooked up and I'm pretty gutted because it would have looked awesome. I think I'm just a bit tired and making some silly mistakes. So sorry about that, everybody. Hopefully I may have got some on the GoPro for you to see that. But um, yeah, pretty annoyed with myself, to be honest. Try and be better. Try and be much, much better. I see him. See him? See him? Oh, what? Okay, guys, we are done. We're gonna turn around here. What time is it? Like 4:30? 4:30. 4:30. Yeah, man. So, already got a good, yeah, a good two hours back to camp at least, I'd say. So, um, got a message. Um, so yeah, we're gonna knock it on the head. Probably we we're just talking. We we should have had six fish today. We got four. I definitely should have had one more, which would have left Dean open with a shot another one. But hey, today was more about just fishing in a spectacular place than catching heaps of fish. Hey, it was just mm -hmm. this place is nuts. Yeah, the vertical mountains either side, yeah, unbelievable. Yeah, yeah it, it, we've got out as the most spectacular place I've fished yet. Would you say it was like being in Wonderland, eh? It is, but the water's so clear, like, it's just... The fish can, you know, must be able to see the fly from bloody 8 or 10 feet away. Yeah, it's yeah. They've got so much time to inspect the fly. It's definitely not easy, not easy. But they are tough fish to catch. Anyway, super cool day. Really enjoyed it, and just what a place, man. So we're going to go back to camp. Then tomorrow we're going to fish down the main river. So maybe we'll catch a couple of fish. If we do, well, you'll see a video on that next week. And if not, well, we'll catch you somewhere else because we're still around this area for a few days. So hope you enjoyed this one. Give me a thumbs up. Drop me a comment in the comment section below. Say see you later to Dean. Ciao. And have a great week, everyone. We'll see you on the next one. Peace.